Alright, welcome back everybody. This is another podcast for the CB Rifles tournament and we are here today with, of course, myself, CB, tournament organizer for CB Rifles, together with Corto. Corto is another tournament organizer and we are working together quite a bit uh, on the tournaments and we hope to do it even more in the future to get you the best competitive gameplay that there is possible for Conqueror's Blade. Today we are also joined by Jack Lor, he's the team captain for YAA, the Turkish team playing in a rustic division right now and he's the first team captain from the rustic team that is going to join our podcast so welcome you to you Jekler. Yeah, hello guys welcome welcome and thank you for joining us um yeah. before we start the podcast i would like to say a special thank shout out to my three patreons on the patreon page uh, thank you for supporting it also by spending some money um because in the end uh support is needed if we want to get like better price support better support for the league or better content um so if you can Make sure to do it. Go to the Patreon page. Um, I hope to get like sponsors in the future for Cyber Rivals League if it, if we can like maintain how big it is. But we'll see how that goes. Um, it's a bit hard right now, but we'll get there one day. Um, other than that, uh, we're just going to talk about lots of things, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, Corto, before I go to anything else, uh, how was your uh, experience last weekend with the games that you casted? Uh, I cast only two games yeah. because. Uh... Because, uh, because, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, but, but I see um, uh, a third game uh, later. Oh, nice. And uh, uh, I think the the map will be interesting, fun because we don't see often in a tournament, and uh, so it's uh, it's it's new. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely and, uh, true. One way. Yeah. And uh, we see nice, uh, nice fight and uh, nice defense. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I absolutely uh, agree. I, I really enjoyed the, the hidden seat. I gotta say, like we had uh, Mass Claims last week with us on the podcast, and he, he already mentioned that. And he also uh, is is co co captain Nexler. And he also mentioned that there's like at least four places you can defend on Hidden City, and we definitely saw that there were plenty of games where teams plan played differently. One of those yeah. was the games you played in uh, Jackler. We'll talk about that later. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, Hidden City was definitely interesting, and I look forward to going back to that map uh, in another season. Yeah. So yeah, it's really really interesting map. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah. All right. So yeah. Jackler, um, because you already started, um, I'll ask you three questions, just like I did with the other team captains in the last two podcasts. Okay. Um, and the only way you get to respond is by saying overpowered or underrated. Uh, can you say me again? Because my English sometimes. Yeah. It's yeah. No worries. No worries. No worries. Easy, easy words. Okay. So. <laughs> yes. Do you know overpowered? No. Okay, overpowered is when something is like extremely strong. Extremely strong. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Like extremely, okay. extremely strong. Like it shouldn't be okay. in the game, maybe. And then you have okay. and then you have underrated, and underrated means that it is um like actually good, but people don't realize it. Okay. Yeah? Okay, so okay. you get to say uh, overpowered or underrated, and I'll give you three uh three words. Alright, are you ready? Okay. Alright, here we go. First one is full calf on hidden city defense. Uh, defense, uh, no, not good. <laughs> no, not good. No. Okay, okay, good. Yeah, good. Not good. Uh, YAA yeah. as a team. Yeah, really good. <laughs> really good. All right, overpowered, <laughs> yeah. I guess then. And yeah. the Turkish community. Really good. <laughs> really good. All right, all right. Yeah. We'll talk more yeah. about that later then. Yeah, um, but, <laughs> <laughs> but let's start about uh, last weekend because uh, we played each other. I was playing on Trike, you were playing on YA, of course. Um, yeah. Yeah. And um, Trike attacked you on Hidden City, obviously, and you guys uh, sallied out like pretty convincingly. Yeah. You created yes. like a shitload of chaos, and we didn't really know what to do. We actually got on the walls, closed the gate. I uh, yeah. tried to get the supply, tried to get the B point, almost got it, I guess, but we just didn't manage to like group up properly. Um, so tell me about that idea from you guys. I can, I can explain some things about that match. Yeah, go we ahead. Normally, we normally planning the sally out with the jump cow, with mm-hmm. blue, blue cows, and uh, it's we trying all the, our screams against many teams, mm-hmm. and we we feel it. This is strong. Mm. Because in that map, in the attacker side, when they spawn, they cannot hide the units on the safe safe house. Safe yeah. house is so far away. Mm-hmm. That's why we are trying to use that strategy in this map. And it's giving us really nice points because in outside three supply point, if we take one of them, we can refresh our ammo and continue to push an enemy and kill too much thing. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, we are we are hurting you guys, but our second second uh, plan after the sally, mm-hmm. it's sitting the supply points. But you guys, uh, in our idea, you need to be regroup and you need to be refresh yourself and try to your push. But you guys push to us against the chaos. You know, you guys go in, mm-hmm. try to take supply and don't stop. You guys don't stop, and our defense also going to be in chaos. It's yeah. not and it's not in the strategies like this, you know. We are mm-hmm. don't think like this. You guys pushing hard, but you guys did, and actually I like your defense strategy more than your attacks. <laughs> you, you guys, you guys de- doing really good job in the defense side, uh, defending the walls. I like that. It's really lost, uh, losting time for us, you know. It's mm-hmm. good idea. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty interesting as well. We tried to like destroy all the towers with the uh, javelins. We actually forgot to do the one on the side so that was unfortunate but yeah that was uh, pretty fun to to do at least we, we were really happy when we destroyed the, the last tower that we got so yeah. yeah some small wins for us but in the end you got the win um you are now undefeated in the rustic division together with kebabs another turkish uh-huh. team um uh, so <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll talk more about that at the end of the podcast when we talk about it the next week because next week you will be playing against kebabs so that will be really exciting a uh, really exciting game to watch um but before we go there uh Talk more more to me about yourself. Like, where, yeah, I, when I did can, you start playing the game? What do you like about it? Well, tell me. I can say I can say like this in the first of all before myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe I, I I just start uh, with you guys doing this job. It's really helpful in the game. You know, it's you guys giving us to time. You know, to play this game mm-hmm. every weekend, every Sunday, and uh, we are busy. You know, we are just in the beginning when I start the game. I remember I was dreaming like this 15 <laughs> versus 15 lobby, you know, yeah, yeah. because yeah. because my age is not young. <laughs> I play too much game. I play too much. I play too much game like this uh, with friendship, with the communities, you know, in the discord, in the mm-hmm. team speak like these games. And for example, every game have versus versus, you know, eight versus eight, five versus League of Legends, Valorant, every like every popular game have lobby can be creatable yeah. but this game pushing me uh, siege 15 versus 50 with different players you know mm-hmm. some of them low some of them high, high levels and then this is really uh, doing good job the game and after that you guys doing this it's really uh, nice to be inside in this tournament mm-hmm. because because we have we have to do something in this game we are boring and you guys <laughs> doing this i am sure Many teams, members, or captains, and every every player in this tournament are happy because we are here. Because this tournament going all the season continue. You know, mm-hmm. this is giving us some busy. You know, we need yeah. this. We need to play this game <laughs> like this hard. You know, for yeah. uh, mostly Turkish community. I can say, yeah, they are they are really like to play hard. Many of players, mm-hmm. as you can see, we are. I I don't remember and. Can you say me or one year before or, you know, how many Turkish team inside the game, for example, in CBL, in CB Rivals, last season, for mm-hmm. example. But right now we have really strong Turkish teams yeah, because sure. because they like, they like, you know, they like rivals, you know, mm-hmm. you understand? Mm-hmm. They like yeah, 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 that's definitely... they like, they like. They like to fight each other. They yeah. Strong. Well, yeah. that is one thing that I wanted to talk to you about. And I like that you brought it up uh, already. Um, yeah. Yeah. And and thank you for for like praising us so much for organizing all of this. Um, we are just as excited about uh, as you about the the lobby that is now in the game. It's it's really good for, for everything I believe, we believe in the, for, for this game and at all. Like the end game is now so much fun, I guess. Um, but about the Turkish community, because uh, I've noticed that you guys are fighting a lot within like with each other, and I also know that um, in the game before the custom lobby was there. Uh, there were many like really big hordes of Turkish communities uh, raiding inside this the is, game. Uh, this is right. Yeah, w- where is where is the passion coming from in the Turkish community? Why are you so this passionate? Is, yeah, this is coming. You know, not hundred percent, but this is coming from ego. You know, <laughs> the yeah, I, I can say this in in the many many personal in the face. You know, because the ego coming up in the fights in the uh, in the house. Can you imagine? We, we are we are hundred player inside one house, mm-hmm. not eight, not ten. Can, can, come come around around in real life with hundred player, 
and try to communicate them you know <laughs> this is hard yeah this is hard you know some people in 30 years old some people is 18 years old mm. in the discord and turkish community come together in the as a house like 100 online it's hard to keep up you know it's really hard because turkish people never like to lose many of them <laughs> if they lose ego come up you know <laughs> and then they start to the fighting because we have really uh, i can say really we have good commanders good uh, i don't want to say commanders but my english not enough to explain this feeling it's like these people like command people you know they want to they want to comment players they want mm -hmm. to be uh, say something in the game always yeah, you know? yeah. We, you, we have too much people yeah, yeah. you you yeah. all want to be a sultan i guess uh... yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> many many of people for yeah. example in 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 the game right now how many turkish house we can say in west one maybe two maximum two not 100 percent turkish but kebabs mm. are great this season yeah they are really like 90 percent is turkish as i can see i don't know i'm not sure i'm just yeah, yeah, yes sure. yeah, yeah there's, I'm, yeah there's definitely quite yeah. a lot of uh, turkish houses yeah a lot of lot yeah. lot of yeah yeah uh, so this, then we, we will see we will see this yeah, yeah for sure for sure and it's definitely fun to see like uh, how you guys are all fighting each other as well but also of course fighting all the other teams because you can win against each other but you also have to beat all the other teams and right now you're definitely doing that um so how do you then um like manage to to fight with ya as one team and not fight each other yeah, be before 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 the team, you ask me and uh, the question I want to answer. Mm -hmm. the, from myself, I start the game in oh, yeah. West Three, mm -hmm. West Three uh, before the merge West One, yeah. and Season Four. I start the game Season Four. Oh, nice, yeah. And then uh, till Season Four, I am commanding house and commanding the team. Territory Wars. Uh, I like this uh, this part. You know, mm -hmm. many people. Uh, in the one game but game have really different parts i like that parts you know for example some people collect something in outside out, out in the map you know they yeah. don't want to come in territory war they don't play siege you know game have different parts yeah. i like that part and i play too much <laughs> and and from season four i have a friendship of course from the houses from the teams and we create ourselves you know we create it because for me online games uh, playing the first for the friends second for house then going aliens you know mm -hmm. i can say for everybody players play that game for the friends yep. when i play with the, my friendship inside the one discord channel i enjoy the game <laughs> you know if i play alone it's nothing giving to me yeah, yeah. it's friendship come up and we create house we create team and after the merge west one we are grow up, you know, but mm -hmm. the fighting Turkish community, it's coming from long way from the beginning, from the first season, Göktürk, Han, these houses uh, <laughs> was a Turkish, Turkish, like a first houses, you know, in mm -hmm. the game. Yeah. Uh, and Turkish community grow up after this game. Interesting. Too many reclam in Turkey <laughs> and we join the game and Turkish communities are growing and fights starting, you know, yeah, absolutely <laughs> after, true. after after West 3 merge. Yeah, West 1. Too much Turkish place right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it might be true. About, about the team, about the team, mm -hmm. yeah, we are playing each other's like uh, some of members like more than two years. Mm -hmm. Some of members we just met in this season. Yeah, but uh, many members are the names are showing up for that game. You know the good names in our team. Mm -hmm. We are hundred percent Turkish Turkish team. And I like to I like to see and I want to see more Turkish teams are in the first lines always. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, sure. I, I I am happy to see that. I'm happy to see yeah, that. Yeah, kebabs good. are kebabs are good team. Impact are really good team. Mm -hmm. They are great in this season, but they have of, of course some experiments from the other teams. Uh, some of good players from Surf Slayer mm -hmm. join kebabs. Some of good players from join Low End Division. And other teams also, yeah. also blame uh, alias. Yeah. Odin's, Odin's Legion, mm -hmm. uh, Blame Alias, you yeah. know, they have so good experiments from CB Rivals and mm -hmm. from CBL. This is the, this is the giving them really strong point. Mm -hmm. And the big, biggest point, they come from other teams and other teams also not a weak. And they know many different strategy, many in many different games, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. do you believe that the Turkish players are like 
really good uh, individually on their own or do you think they're stronger as a team with the power of friendship <laughs> yeah of course i i do i do yeah both yeah, yeah. all right that's good uh corto any question from you before we actually go to the like the results from last weekend uh, no, I'm agree with uh, what he said, and uh, I'm okay. Uh, um, actually, the the mode siege, it's uh, it's like a quick match, mm -hmm. so we need to lobby, and uh, uh, yes, Turkish team uh, improve uh, season after season, and uh, it's fine to to see some different uh, um, language team. Yeah. Uh, to 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 on the on the first place on the first line, and uh, it's nice. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's it's really fun to see, and I hope actually we get to see more like language teams in the future. We have uh, Turkish teams now. We have some French teams now as well. Um, yeah, so maybe we'll, we'll get like German sure. teams. But I, there's, there's sure a Polish team see. as well. Yeah. I'm sure we. I'm sure we will see, guys. This yeah. is. This is taking interesting every season. For example, this season you have more team, yes? Mm -hmm. I'm sure next season you will, you will get more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hope so. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. We, we can we can take in as many teams as, as possible. I hope at least. We'll see we'll see how far we go, but it is definitely this, fun and yeah. This is taking our attention, you know. This mm -hmm. is from last season I'm we were we was watching the videos uh, and uh, watching the Twitch live channels, yeah. streamers, casters and we enjoy to see it for example last season plebs as uh, a champion yes mm -hmm. in the last season and they're doing really good job uh, and uh, enemy from them they are really doing also good job Blaine yeah, Elias, yeah. and Blaine Elias on, well. guard, yeah. on guard you know they are, they are really good fighting and too many fighting you know <laughs> uh, we, we are we are watching and uh, when we see something we are we are learning you know we are learning like mm -hmm. this uh, for example in our team our team members have no history for the tournaments i mean yeah you know it's yeah I we, are, it. we are we are we are trying to uh, grow up ourselves with mm -hmm. the videos and with the screams yeah uh, yeah, yeah. screams are important we have mm -hmm. zero zero day without screams only territory mm -hmm. war days we make meeting you know you make busy us <laughs> see <how laughs> i see i see <laughs> then you're definitely a busy man and uh, it, it makes sense because you've been performing really well with the team and um, yeah. i get it if, i get it if you're scr screaming every day then you will definitely and we are, we are very angry, fast you know? we are angry. why yeah, yeah. because and why can you can you feel that why because you guys in the one video i don't know which one yeah you guys put put us z tire ah yes 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 that was at the start of the season yeah yeah yeah. With, yeah. that was the yeah. podcast with blake from uh, chocolate paladins we put you because we didn't know you guys and you were new to the tournament right you hadn't played any tournament we didn't know any of the we players are, we are coming for you yes That's clearly <laughs> Ouch. yeah you you already took me down yeah you're gonna have to take chocolate, chocolate paladins down as well yeah. yeah that's fun yeah yeah, it's, it's interesting what he said because uh, for me this is the meta. You know when mm -hmm. you when you show um, some team in competition uh, to to play uh, a map mm -hmm. like this, uh, this is the meta, uh, and uh, we we can see some uh, some utility of different uh, units, some different strategy in attack in defense, mm -hmm. and where we can uh, uh, put the, the, the unit mm -hmm. to, to do the fight at this place or this place. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the meta for me. Yeah, totally. It's been really interesting, like so many different strategies. And um, that yeah, brings me yeah. to, to last weekend because there's so many games we have to talk about. So so let's just let's just do it. And uh, we'll start with the play in the vision, guys, uh, because a lot of things happened there. Um, also, before I start this off, um, last weekend was a bit unfortunate with, uh, with the runes. Uh, we had to like disable the runes because the new patch was only out for three days and like it, it wouldn't be fair to have players like force players to play 24 7 just to get the runes for their weapons and their armor so we disabled them uh, the team captains wanted me to do that as well so we decided to do it but it also meant we had to like enforce that rule so we had to like restart games where someone accidentally played a rune on their yes. weapon or their armor right and yes. this uh, led to three games being restarted. One of them was looking for team against uh, Pelia Old School, and that was very fortunate because it happened at the end of the game. Someone swept out a rune, and that meant that looking for team, who had just won the game, had to re replay that game. Um, 
So that was one game that happened. Then we also had Odin's Legion versus Kebabs that was had to be restarted. Luckily that one didn't really affect it because it was pretty soon in, in the game and nothing had happened yet. And then the really unfortunate one that I feel really bad about is Blade Medials versus Plebs, one of the best games of the weekend. Um, and Blade Medials was sallying out, uh, so someone on the Plebs team had a rune, unfortunately. They had checked all their runes before the game, but uh, someone swept out their uh, uh, like armor and accidentally forgot to that he still had one rune on that armor. Um, and that meant that Blade Medials versus Plebs had to restart with the same units, which is what we agreed on before the match. Um, but it also meant that Blame Alias was a disadvantage and yeah, there's something you don't want to see happen um, and it will not happen again because um, one, we have learned from this and second, um, this is the only time ever that we will probably uh, play like with overlapping seasons. So any season following after this uh, Zebra Rifles season will be played like s synchronized to the regular season, which means that there will be no like new runes uh, in the middle of the season. So. Yeah, this was just very unfortunate. Um, I'm glad we got this behind us, but um, I'm, I'm really sorry to the teams that were affected badly by this. Um, but yeah, it's what happened. We agreed with the captains about it before the, uh, the match started and there was a risk. But this was probably the best for most players involved. So yeah. All right, that's it about the last weekend. Um, again, we hope to do better in the future and I'm sure we will do it. Um, yeah, so let's go to the play in division then. Uh, playing division is actually pretty exciting. Um, Impact Esports, they are doing really well, like you said, another Turkish team, and they are undefeated right now in that uh, playing division. And last weekend we saw Argonautas against Divinity, Argonautas French team. Uh, they are playing really well, just as well, and they won 2-0. Uh, Divinity also a Turkish team, I believe. And uh, we got looking for team against Pelio Old School, and they were one to one. A very exciting match. Definitely rewatch that. Uh, looking for team taking their first win and totally unexpected i have to say uh, i was casting that game uh, looking for team is just a team of random players brought together and there's like a group of 10 players about uh, who are really at the core of the team and they are really looking to improve and play well um, so i expect more from them in the future um Corto, did you uh, cast the argonautas game uh, I don't cast, but uh, I see the game. Yeah. And uh, yes, and Argonaut uh, do a very a good job. I think the, the best is uh, in attack mm. because uh, the I, I don't really know it was a pre, uh, pre previous, mm -hmm. but um, they have a lot of units. Yeah. And two uh, two hundred more than the opposite, mm. and uh, they they move the, the mix they mix all units so they have always a, a good unit yeah. on the place and uh, they they win with um, with a long game because uh, mm -hmm. this map it was very long yeah, and uh, if you if you kill all the units of the opponent you you win the game mm -hmm. so uh, and they play with uh, with this and uh, it was a, a nice match and uh, they have an, and uh, after they make a, a good defense mm -hmm. uh, and um, at the back on the on the down of the stairs mm -hmm. and uh and they win the match yeah so, totally yeah very good. yeah absolutely very good uh, i was also casting it and i was really impressed by what argonautas did they played really well Divinity did a really good um defense at first but then they slowly started to lose more and more and argonautas took it um impact esports versus script that wasn't casted but luckily it was recorded by one of the moderators so you can rewatch it on youtube if you haven't yet um Impact just played really well. Crypta put up like a good attack, good defense, um, and definitely one of the teams that is also looking to improve. They've already tied two two times against Wildblood and Argonautas. So Crypta is definitely also a team that will probably improve throughout the season. We, we expect to see more from them, but Impact is just too strong right now and looking for two against Belia, like I said, one to one. Um, and that brings us to the following standing. Um, if you can see it, yep, you can. Um, so. Impact Esports undefeated right now, three wins, uh, three games played, nine points. Argonautas second place together uh, with one win and two ties on five points. Wild Blood, Wild Blood one win, one tie. They have yet to play one more game, four points. So they could take like second place if they win their game when they will end up with seven points in three games. Belly Old School, two ties, one uh, loss with two points. Crypta also one loss, two ties, two points. Looking for team getting their first tie. And also having one loss with one point, but they also still have to get one more game in. And then win the Divinity with still with two losses there at the bottom of the standing right now. But they hope to, of course, improve their standing over the next weeks. 
Um, and then we go to the Rustic Division. Rustic Division, very interesting, I have to say. Uh, YAA, the game, the team that we're talking about, of course, winning against Twiki in a very interesting match. Uh, you might want to rewatch it, it was very fun. Uh, good sally out with the Kev, but also interesting defense by Twiki um, that maybe if executed better in the end, uh, could have actually surprised YAA there. Uh, Kebabs versus Odin's Legion, um, very interesting match, I believe. Kebabs being one of the strongest team, Odin's Legion also going undefeated into the run this weekend, but lost against Kebabs. Love and Devotion against Chocolate Paladin. Chocolate Paladin is getting the 2-0. They're actually actually their first win. Uh, we expected them to do better in the, at the start of the season, uh, but they finally picked up their win and are looking to like get back to the to the to the S tier standing or the A tier that they gave themselves at the start of the season. And Holy Crusaders versus Baguette Munchers winning 2-0 for Holy Crusaders. Um, Holy Crusaders also doing very well. The, NA, the other A team. That is actually above Chocolate Paladin still, still with two wins out of three games. Um, aside from Triki and YA, we already talked about that match. Uh, any match that you guys have seen? This match, that's Rustic Division. I watch it all. Yeah, you watch it all? Okay, tell me, what do you know about uh, uh, Kebabs vs. Only Legion? What, what, what do you see? What do you like? I uh, Actually, I don't like the defense rats and mm. the stairs. Mm. You know, a, 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 against uh, the range units uh, because high ground advantage always go up with the Zekelian or mm. Senji, doesn't matter. But Kebab doing really good hero job and taking right supply uh, from the right stairs. They was losting that fight, but they take supply and take units and move to B. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, this is uh, pushing the audience legion going chaos. Yeah. They they don't know push supply or pushing B or defending B. Mm -hmm. They going to chaos because they take supply and now enemy is not outside is inside <laughs> <laughs> with all units and that this is the kebabs uh, move is really good. Yeah. And second second in the final push in again kebabs attack. If you watch clearly kebabs send some units from the middle gate yes. and the heroes go back supply go left supply and taking cow. Mm -hmm. They yeah. just try to play double units in the <laughs> final fight, and yeah. they're doing good job. And yeah, it's but both team is as a strong. Uh, we make screams also with the audience legion. Mm. They are also really good. IMC for this division on the top side, audience kebab, yeah, yeah, it's and after that, maybe you know, but this this uh, showing to us these fights mm -hmm. is looking like this. Yeah, because exactly. uh, I, I don't know the other teams uh, yeah. drink, but they yeah. are, they are I, I don't I don't say they are bad team, mm -hmm. but it's looking like this. It's looking like this. Yeah, they for sure. Really I agree with you. Like yeah. uh, last week, we also talked with Mass Flames, and the week before with Glam Elias as well. Um, that or Elias, I should say. Uh, they were they were also saying that Kebabs, YA, Owens Legion, they're looking really strong right now. Um, one thing that will be really interesting is you guys playing Kebabs next week, and then also. Uh, in the last round, you get you, your team has to play Odin's Legion, um, so that might actually like decide who gets first, yeah, second, yeah, right? right? So that's going to be really cool. It's almost like a final. Yeah, this is our mm -hmm. like uh, first match. <laughs> it's looking. This is uh, it's. We have three strong match, and mm -hmm. also uh, with the Chakin Paladins yeah. are coming strong to us. Yeah, totally. Uh, yeah. And and uh, this is really showing us which place we are uh you know mm -hmm. maybe maybe first maybe <laughs> second you yeah know, or you you might yeah, even get or... fourth if you lose all of those games who knows yeah <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah who knows? that is going to be really interesting um yeah yeah, yeah trust ourselves yeah. but before we uh, go the, go to next match i want to say in audience attacked mm -hmm. in kebab stefan uh, audience really doing good job for the left supply i mean uh, from attacker side left mm -hmm. Left yeah. supply, they 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 taking and they pushing B. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going there wrong, but kebabs coming too many calves mm -hmm. and taking B control again. It was a bad position, mm -hmm. but they really pushing good to supply. Yeah, yeah, totally. Odin's have been very impressive, and uh, not many teams managed to get the left supply. That was something that was seemed to be really hard on uh, Hidden City. So definitely good for them getting there, and uh, yeah, kebabs just too strong in the end. Um, you mentioned Chocolate and Paladins already. They have come back with a win against Love and Devotion. Um, and they will be one of the teams that you will have to beat in round six, for example. Uh, you also watched that match then? Uh, 
Chuck Paladins and Loven Division, yeah. Yeah. It it was not interesting match for me too much, mm. but it's uh, they they doing good job. Bangladesh. <laughs> yeah, they were simply stronger, right? That that was basically yeah. it, I guess. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So Loven Devotion seem to be like they have to improve. Uh, they have to get better, but Chuck Paladins seem to be getting back into shape after uh, their very good performance last season against many of the right now feudal teams. Um, Holy Crusaders yeah. versus Baguette Munchers. Holy Crusaders is just uh, getting better. Uh, they're just playing like pretty standard, I would say, but they're just executing very well. And Baguette yeah. Munchers uh, are one of the teams that actually have to uh, like improve their gameplay. Just as Trikey, they are at the bottom of the standing right now, together with Love and Devotion. So uh, yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. Yeah. All right, um, we'll talk more about next week after like at the end of the podcast but let's go to the field division now um oh before i do that uh, did i go for the standings no no all right here we go uh, so yaa versus uh on and kebabs on tr- three wins with nine points in first place odin's legion now in second and third place with six points two wins one loss also tied with holy crusaders who also have two wins and one loss six for six points chocolate paladins with one win and two losses for three points love and devotion and baguette muncher sixth and seventh place with two losses and one tie against each other, obviously. And then Triarchy in last place right now. Um, but I gotta say, even if because I'm just in a team, they're getting better. And they're definitely looking to get some wins uh, in their next uh, next in their next rounds. So we'll see how that goes. Um, on to the Feudal Division. The Division 1, as many like to call it. Um, we saw very interesting games there, um, especially the No Beaches vs. Surf Slayer. I don't know if you, both of you have watched it, but that game was an absolute banger. Um, both teams winning the defense, No Beaches actually on the wall, winning the A defense. Yeah, Surf it's Slayer. not interesting. It's not yeah. interesting. Yeah. So yeah. we will talk about that game like quite a bit, I think. But uh, No Beaches vs. Yeah. Surf Slayer 1 1. Dame Alias vs. Plebs 2 0 for Plebs. Uh, we've talked about a game a little bit before. Slavs vs. Pontgard. Pontgard finally getting back with the 2 0 win. Uh, they needed that win very badly to get back into into the top standings. And slot blockers versus Rose slot blockers who used to be checked, and they got the like the win on the defense, if I'm correct. And then Rose won the their defense as well, one one. So good for slot blockers getting the getting the tie, and also of course Rose getting the point. But both of those teams actually want to get a win to improve their standing over the other one. Um, so yeah, let's go to No Beaches for Surf Slayer because that was definitely the the like the the, the coolest match of the of the, uh, of, the of the last Sunday. Um, uh, the, yeah, the, Corta, so, so, so go 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 go. Okay, <laughs> go ahead, Jack. It's all yours. <laughs> yeah, uh, against uh, Surf Surf and no 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 Beaches. Uh, no, yeah. no, no, okay, that that fight is really interesting. Uh, uh, mostly. Uh, defend the wall. This is no one uh, think too much and attack strats for this. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, but I can say for the self slayer, self slayer is uh, so good prepare for this season, for yeah. this. And this is uh, this lost really maybe they need it. Mm-hmm. Uh, they will go more strong, I'm sure, because yeah. they are working. Mm-hmm. Uh, we was in the same house in the last season mm-hmm. in the game. Nice. That's why I know them. Yeah. I know Musk and Roxo and the other members of the team they are really strong they are mm-hmm. i trust them too much for this season mm-hmm. but that much uh the the winners make really really good strategy on the uh, a defend and they ban madao yeah. it's mean it's mean they play cow it's looking mm-hmm. like the, it's it's a small bait it's looking yeah. and then it's i don't know about the time about the small mistakes mm-hmm. Turf is not prepared for the wall push maybe uh this is going <laughs> messed up and good job for both team yeah because two two side win one one mm-hmm. yeah and yeah. i also i also can say this uh for self slayer last season performance it was not strong mm-hmm. maybe like this season because they was also cbs champion yeah. team Absolutely. this is the one point i want to say your tournament is going all the season mm-hmm. and uh, cb rivals last season uh self slayer managers was great house in the game ah, i yeah. mean territory, territory wars yeah they they, the, they definitely weren't like playing the best in last season that's it's also what mass flame said last week and, and rockstar so yeah they're definitely getting so so much better this season and uh, it shows it's definitely showing 
Um, because they have time now. To yeah, play. exactly. They have the time now, yeah, and, yeah. and it shows, right? Their yeah. their defense against No Beaches was so insanely good. Like they played very aggressive. Um, uh-huh. We talked about we talked with Mask and Rockstar last week about how they like to take their time and slowly approach their enemy. But in this game, when the defense, they were just like attacking No Beaches wherever they could. They were always going for the Falconetti, going for the for the for any specialist unit that they saw. And, it was really yeah. cool to see and interesting that you mentioned it the bands on no beaches for surf slayer were totally different almost all t- matches had a shenji ban and falconetti ban and yeah, this, yeah. this was one of the only matches that had modal yeah. and iron reapers as their bands and that that is that, that, that was very that's interesting why we are arguing with the mask mm-hmm. he, he, he wants to scream with that bands. i say what the fuck yeah <laughs> why those random bands right yeah so that's really funny so uh pretty smart from no beaches i gotta say yeah uh, Quarto, what about you? What did you notice in that match? Yeah, he said it was the same. Sir Slayer uh, do a very good defense and uh, they, they show a strong uh, a strong fight and they are very aggressive. Mm-hmm. They, they go to the hub at the stairs uh, one or three times to, to take some uh, some trebuchet. Some yeah. trebuchet. <laughs> they are very aggressive. <laughs> and uh, But the, the, for me, the most important point is the defense of No Beach. And uh, I have the confirmation after with Dorogon and uh, the, the player of uh, of Nobich. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it was previous to uh, with the ban of Modao to uh, to push uh, the opposant to uh, to take some cavalry, mm. but uh, they, they they know they, they previous to to defend only on the wall, so uh, a part of the unit of the opposant don't use. Yeah. They are used. They are the, yeah, they are useful. Mm-hmm. This. And uh, no, not useful. You are useless. Yeah, useless. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they couldn't they be are used. Uh, yeah. Also, okay. So they are the, the advantage with yeah. the, with the number of units, and uh, at the end they fight uh, with the arrow on the point mm-hmm. to take some, some last second, and, uh, and they win with the strategy. Yeah, actually, yeah. and it's this, a... is, this is good for yeah. your strategy. Yeah. Yeah, there was a really cool strategy because you could see it at the end it was uh, was nine fingers casting the game, and he was surprised because he he was mentioning like. Surf Slayers have more units and uh, they should be getting this last push or whatever like that. But right. like you said, there were so many cap for Surf Slayers still left that uh, they didn't actually have the advantage probably at that point. And yeah, just and outsmarted by no beaches. Yeah. And yeah, sometimes time time pushing them, you know, mm-hmm. time time going yeah, left, also. left, left. Yeah. yeah. yeah and they, they use the Falconity to, to destroy only one tower. Yeah. Uh, to 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 to, con- to to concentrate the the push mm-hmm. on the, on one face on one side yeah and uh, so they 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 win a lot they, they they add a lot of time yeah. they win a lot of time yeah exactly and the, the goal on the defense yeah it was very interesting and I think I like it because this is one strategy that you also see a lot in ranked actually if you play ranked um, teams if they even coordinate something they try to destroy always destroy one tower and defend the other one it's actually quite easy if you play like shenji um like the choke for the tower is so small that you can really easily destroy that team but yeah all right so enough about this match because yeah but uh, for anyone who hasn't watched it definitely go back to the youtube for super rifles and watch that match because it was like some of the best convert played gameplay that you will probably see uh like almost any anywhere during the season i guess um and we'll talk more about the result because this means a lot for the standings uh, later on. Uh, Blame Melias versus Plebs. We talked about the Plebs taking the 2 0 eventually. Blame Melias being very unfortunate with the remake. Um, have you guys watched uh, the Plebs attack or the defense? Uh, Plebs attack and defend? Mm-hmm. Yes. I, against, uh, you mean that much? Uh, yeah, against I I Blame Melias. Yeah. yeah, I watched it. Yeah. yeah. What did you like about it? <laughs> uh, I can I can say about uh, the rule of runes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, did you remember also I pushing you from the DM uh, just how you can control the runes like this? I was wondering because yeah, yeah. this is this is going to be uh, different because people are really uh, giving time for that match mm-hmm. for the Lemelias members and Plebs members are this is really important match. Yeah, totally. one, 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 one of biggest. And how you say uh, this is uh, going mass a little bit uh, because of to maybe uh, we 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 forget something inside of the rule you know mm-hmm. we we forget but this is can be happened 
every position because this was emergency yeah. and season season the late season levels people start without rune mm. what they do in nodachi without rune in uh, in polax i don't know without rune what they do and then you wanna you wanna give them chance and then now they're blaming the rule <laughs> because of yeah. you know, try it's, it's, try yeah but uh, it is understandable like if you lose a game like that of course you feel like like you're robbed of something and and like you you wanna you don't want to lose like that or even if it isn't because of the remake like you just want to play a clean game and that's 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 always the goal right like some some players uh dm'd me about like uh oh they use rune sh a rune sh shouldn't they get an automatic loss and my response is always like uh, I, I want the most fair game and I want the most fun game, like as many fun games being played as, as possible. So whenever a game is like remade, I'm just really sad because that's not what any any player or any team captain or any organizer wants. We just want to play clean games. So yeah, just yeah. what happens. Uh, Plebs taking the win, of course. They played really well. Like if despite that uh, one remake, Plebs cleanly won um, their own defense um, in a very interesting game. Just 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 even despite all of that. So yeah, Plep's still showing to be pretty strong. Um, Blame yeah. Alias, I hope that they come back, they play Pond Guard next week. Um, they can definitely still go for the first play, pl place, but they now have to depend on No Beaches and Surf to Slayer uh, to actually yeah, win against Yeah, they are still Plebs. strong. They are yeah, still they, strong. They, yeah, they're we really was, strong, we for scream. sure. We were screaming the last, yes, uh, one day, one day. Hmm. We were screaming one day with them. Yeah. And def definitely I can say they are strong in the Fjord. Yeah, and uh, we, uh, we will see <laughs> against the Pongo how it's going to work. Yeah, but uh, really uh, disappoint uh, for that match they mm -hmm. lost. Uh, but some people try to blame uh, Plebs, but what they can do for this? Yeah. Rule, rule, rule also come out uh, from uh, before match start. Everyone exactly. see that. Yeah. Everyone see that. Yeah. And we are agreed if someone have problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we can, exactly. They, and... they, they, yeah, they will not start yeah. the match. If they start the match, they agree with the rule. Yeah. And then, and then after this thing happened, yeah, strats going leak uh, mm -hmm. because of the three minutes delay, units going leak, yeah. all units from yeah, streamers. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, every yeah, detail that... go. Yeah. yeah, so that's what happens. And you, you could say that like blame alias. They they had the same information. They knew also about like the potential for remake if there was a rune in the game. Um, and that also means that it, it is a bigger risk to sell out because if you sell it out um, and there they is a remake, yeah. then you know that yeah. you might be fucked, right? And, so. and one point, one point. If you, if empathy, for example, I don't know, who, <laughs> I, I, I can, I can uh, put myself uh, to the left side. Mm -hmm. If the same thing happened on me, and uh, they they blaming plebs for why they defend left supply because they know they jumping of course why i left because i know they jump why i left supply mm. this is automatically people people try to do that yeah. uh, why 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 they you can play oh you was you wasn't have unit in that supply <laughs> but you have now what you want they left supply to you this is not a realistic comment you know yeah yeah, it is what happens. So we'll just leave it there because it's already been plenty discussed. Um, it's just unfortunate. That's about it. But yeah, this is a part of the for for the good team is mm -hmm. to adapt at, yeah. of each situation. Okay, uh, we have a first plan and mm -hmm. uh, it was a mistake, so we go on the B plan. Yeah. So we, we the team need to adapt uh, always at each situation. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. And yeah. We hope to not see this happen again, but it, it is true. Like the, the team took a risk and they had to adapt. And yeah, that's about it. All right, uh, let's go to the next matches, guys, because we need to move on as well. The uh, tournament must go on and Premier Elias must move on as well. They will definitely win more games and come back even stronger. Um, Slavs versus Pondgard. Um I'm really uh, like cheering for Slavs. Um, I, I love those guys. They're very innovative. But Pondgard finally getting the win um, pretty impressively. Uh, watch that game. And Pond Guards just honestly didn't give Slavs uh, much of a chance, especially on the defense, very clean and the attack just as well. Um, they seem to be finding their groove, even without buy-in. Uh, Maximus was really stepping up, I guess, as team captain now. Um, so I'm really glad to see them back and I hope that they put up a great show because they, they got back just in time uh, because they play Blame Elias next week. So the big games are coming up for, uh, for Pond Guard now. We'll see how that goes. Slot blockers versus Rose. Um, like I said, slot blockers playing very well on defense, getting the one win, and then Rose also getting the win. 
ending up in a tie. Um, yeah, and that's it for those matches. We'll talk more about those teams later, but for now we just go to the standings. Um, Plebs still in first place, undefeated. Three wins, nine points. No beaches with two wins and one tie. Same with Surf Slayer, of course, two wins, one tie for seven points. And this means that if No Beaches and Surf Slayer are to win against Plebs and also win all their other games, then No Beaches and Surf Slayer might be tied at the end of the season and they would have to play a tiebreaker. Like this is so far away, but it, it could happen and I'm really excited for that. Or if Plebs tie, let's say Pond Guard or Blame Media, oh no, yeah, let's say if, if Plebs plays a tie somewhere and then those three teams, Plebs, No Beaches and Surf Slayer could actually uh, end up being tied for first place with the three of them. Like something interesting could happen at the end of the season. Uh, Pond yeah. Guard, fourth place. Oh, Corto, you wanted to say something? Yeah, just one thing. It's uh, next week's is uh, middle of the season. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we are halfway through the season right now. Um, it's seven rounds, so this is round four next th next week exactly. So we are halfway through the season, and that is going to be pretty pretty exciting. Yeah. Uh, Pond Guard picking up the one win. Uh, two losses other than that uh, giving them three points right now together with Blame Elias also one win two losses three points Slavs also one win uh, because the Jack Dilfras uh, had to for forfeit the game and two losses Slot Blockers two losses and one tie together with Rose two losses and one tie for one point um, so the middle of the pack is still really close like three points and one points for five of those teams so they're all within like one win will take them to fourth place and then the top three, um, there's a pretty big gap. There's four points between top three and top four. And top, and top four. Um, yeah, so there seems to be, depending on the next week, there seems to be pretty clear top three. And then be, like behind the top three, uh, there anything can happen really. So that will be very interesting to, to look at. Um, all right, um, I'm going to rush a bit for the time, guys, because we've been talking so much. Jack Lord, thank you for that. I love it. <laughs> Thank I, you, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good. I, I really enjoy how much you've watched like almost all games. It seems, and um, it shows why your team is so strong. Oh, we, are, we, we are working, bro. We yeah, working. you're working if, really if, hard. If we not, uh, if we, we lost. <laughs> I, I realize now. I, I also realize that uh, my team needs to work even harder if you want to get some wins because yeah, yeah you guys are working so hard. It's crazy. All right, so what I want to do is we, we'll go to the playing division, rustic division, feudal division, talk about the games for next week. Um, and then if we have some time left, we'll talk more about, about anything that you like. All right, so quickly, uh, round four, halfway through the season, like Corto mentioned, Krypta versus looking for team in the playing division. Um, it's going to be a pretty cool matchup because Krypta and looking for team both looking for more points. They're at the like, bottom of the standing right now, halfway, um, but both teams are looking better and better and better every single round. Divinity versus Impact Esports, uh, Turkish matchup. Impact Esports, clear favorite against Divinity, uh, who have yet to pick up a point. And Wild Blood versus Argonautas, Wild Blood back in the round against the French team. Both teams have been uh, getting points, getting a win. So they will be fighting to contest Impact Esports, maybe uh, later in the season. So that will be a really interesting matchup, Wild Blood versus Argonautas. Um, and yeah, there's particular favorite like Krypta's favorite according to the predictions, Impact is favorite, and then also Argonautas is favorite according to the predictions on Discord. Um, if we go to the Rustic division, we have Odin's Legion versus Love and Devotion. Odin's Legion looking to continue their like good performance and stay at the top of the standing. But get Munches versus Triarchy. Uh, if you don't know if you've noticed this, but Triarchy uh, is getting the prediction vote by the viewers for the first time. They are potentially going to win the game this uh, weekend, who knows. Uh, Chocolate Paladins against Holy Crusaders, uh, the NA rivalry going to happen this Sunday. Very exciting matchup, both teams doing really well. Chocolate Paladins used to be the better NA team than uh, compared to Holy Crusaders, but Holy Crusaders are doing better in the standings right now. So we'll see which of those two NA teams gets out ahead. And then the last game of the Rustic Division, very, very exciting, YAA versus Kebabs. Um, Jack Lore, what yeah. is your expectation for this match? Because this is the one that you will be playing in. Yeah, I, I, as I said before, this is a really strong team. Mm -hmm. uh, they have many experienced players and experienced team as a yeah. team. And they win against three different teams. Uh, and right now, they're going to fall. But 
you know, we will try our best. We are working for that. We mm. are working for that map. This this match is uh, too much important for us for Rustic Division. Mm -hmm. For a first place or second place, I don't know. Yeah, first place for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Th yeah th uh, this match might decide. Like, if you win this match, you will be fighting for first place at the end of the season, no doubt. Uh, if if you lose yeah. this match, you will probably be fighting for second place against yeah. Odin's Legion at the end of the season. So Th this is right. This yeah. is correct. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, this this matchup is very important for the Rustic Division. It's it's going to be. I, I'm so excited for this one. I, I, yeah, I, I'm going to watch it for sure. Um, so yeah, I, do, do your best, man. Do your best. <laughs> oh, I, 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 we will, we will. I yeah. cannot say, I cannot say we are winning 2-0, mm -hmm. but we are trying. <laughs> but yeah, good, good. We, we are uh, trying to finish that match 1-1. We will try. Mm, that's if, interesting. If, if, if it's coming 1-1. <laughs> yeah, then it will be even more interesting. You might yeah, like get a final at the end. Yeah. It depends and round, round mm -hmm. s a seven. This yeah. is the final match. If we win against Odin, then we go first place. <laughs> yeah. I like it. it. It would actually be really nice if you'd manage to tie uh, against Kebabs yeah. and then yeah. win against Odin's. Oh man, that, that that's it. Yeah, that's it, bro. <laughs> then then you guys would be having a final at the end of the, of the season. I will open big big wine. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that would be very nice. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Good luck. Good luck. Good yeah, luck for, good luck in the preparations and everything. Yeah. When you say one one, it's a uh, victory in defense or in attack. Hmm. Oh, ah. This might be giving away too much, uh, Carta. <laughs> This talk is going so much. <laughs> yeah, all right. Kebabs, be prepared because YA is coming for you. All right. Um, yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, the match will be on Heilung Fjord uh, this Sunday. It's a very nice map. It's open. Plenty of teams like it or don't like it. That's up to them. But most teams like it. Uh, it's going to be very exciting for sure. All right. Feudal Division, round four. Pondgard versus Blame Elias. Very exciting matchup. Um, Blame Elias have to win to stay at the top. And Pondgard want to get back to the top. So that one is going to be really good. Um, the second place against the third place from last season. So a very nice matchup. Might be a match of the week. If not for Plebs versus No Beaches. Um, if Plebs win, they have only Surf Slayer as the, their contender. Probably for this season. If No Beaches win against Plebs, then No Beaches will be at least an, one of the first contenders against uh, Plebs um, for this season. Then we also have Surf Slayer versus Slot Blockers. Surf Slayer should be the clear favorite there. And Rose versus Slavs, another interesting matchup um, for Eastern Europe, because Rose versus Slavs uh, will be a match for both of those teams where they want to get a win. A tie wouldn't help them anywhere further up the standings. They definitely want to get a win over the other uh, team. So those will be all very interesting. Um, what do you think about uh, the top three right now in the Feudal Division? Surf Slayer, Plebs, No Beaches. Do you believe No Beaches could win against Plebs on Highland Fjord? If that question for me... Uh, uh, both of you, yeah. Yeah, okay. The Plebs will take that much. Mm -hmm. You're confident, yeah? Yeah, I, 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 I'm feeling like this. I, I watch both of team mm -hmm. in this season. Mm -hmm. And this season, uh, Plebs going uh, strong again. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely true. I am curious though. We saw No Beaches taking the tie against Surf Slayer, right? With the very yeah. smart strategy on the defense. Yeah. Yes. They, might, they might be trying the same thing. Just like yeah, you plan, right? We, against Kebabs. Maybe we was shocked again. Whoa, nice thrusts. We will yeah. say. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, actually, yeah. I'm, I'm, I start to believe right now that you might be scrimming against, against No Beaches, trying yeah. to get a tie just like they did last week. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? All right. Um, yeah. Corto, what do you think about the top three in the field division? Yeah, but so on, I will say the, the same thing like uh, the last week. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the, on the match uh, play with No Beach. Uh, it's a play that have uh, more experience, have, yeah. have a better team play, a mm -hmm. team, uh, yeah. And uh, but No Beach, uh, I have a good uh, player, mm -hmm. and um, they they saw uh, the show. Uh, they can have uh, um, a nice strategy, mm -hmm. a new strategy. But um, with this map, it, maybe it will be different because we know it's uh, this map we need to defend uh, high and uh, defend A and B point. Yeah. And uh, we, uh, a strategy we know is to, to make a, a seller out uh, at the B point 
yeah. uh, when the game starts after uh, some few minutes. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we, we so we we have not a lot of strategy. It's a, a map with a, a strong fight on the on the first point, and uh, after it's okay. So we will know. We will see. Uh, what's it happen? But uh, for, for me, Pleb and the uh, first player are um, uh, up there to Nobis because just Nobis needs some uh, some practice, some experience mm -hmm. to to for the team play, yeah. and uh, that's all. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> Plebs is definitely the team to beat, right? They're they're without a doubt the best team right now in field division, and then Nobis is like you said, they are getting better. It seems like um, tying and Surf Slayer has proved that. Surf Slayer also getting better after their uh, like loss last season, you could say. So both of those teams uh, definitely trying to contend uh, for first place against Plebs. And it will continue to be very interesting. Um, if you look further ahead, for example, uh, Surf Slayer will be playing against Plebs in the last round. So it's the same kind of with YA and Odin's Legion and Rustic Division. They will be playing each other in the last round as well. And that so both of those matches might be about um, who takes first place in the Rustic Division or the Feudal Division. So it's it's all on the cards. It could be there. The roadmap is there. All the teams have to do is um, uh, get the right points and make it very exciting until the end. We'll see what right. happens. <laughs> right. All right. And different, yeah. dif different page. I want to say something about the divisions, you know. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, we have three groups, yes, playing yeah. in Rustic, and yeah, and some of some of new uh, new teams are really too much for playing. For example, Impact. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe next season, maybe change something. For example, in this season, who comes champion in the third place, first one, second one, and third one? Mm -hmm. They going too much, scream against the new teams and his commanders can say to you oh this team for this division this is strong team for example mm -hmm. they can they can give you information against that team and because i i i i am i feeling not good for in play in division they against the impact mm -hmm. impact is too big for this division for example yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe ne next season we, fi we will fix this issue and they enjoy to play mm -hmm. the same it's very, strongest. It's very difficult to uh, to, to determine the, the level of a team. Yeah. Because, okay, uh, another player can say they are strong, but it's not only this. It's, uh, it's not uh, fair for another team and uh, it's complicated to uh, what you say. Uh, CB, sorry. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. You're right. Like, So I, I get what you're saying, Jack Larry. Like, um, based on like on paper, the kebabs team should be clearly in the in the fuel division, for example, right? Yeah, because right. their their teams are their team almost all of their players are coming from teams that that are in the fuel division right now. They simply decided to form up a new team. They're also playing in the frontier CBL, so like they're getting so much experience, right? So the kebabs team, one of the teams, almost everybody said they should be in the fuel division. But the only way to create a fair tournament setting or a league is by um, forcing teams to actually play and show that they deserve to be in a certain division, uh, yeah, and, yeah. and 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 that in the end is the only fair way to allow teams to get somewhere. Um, like even like we had two teams that actually like dropped out or where the teams disbanded and a new team formed out of that team. For yeah. example, Jack Ultras and Slot Blockers right now. And, uh -huh. and that is already difficult because then, so I, and my ruling on that was, all right, the team captain gets to decide what happens with his slot. Um, and that is, I think, if you do that consistently, then at least it's clear. And it happened with Jack and it also happened with Eden from last season, which is now no beaches. And I'm pretty happy with it because it shows that, like the team captain is basically, I think for most teams at least, um, what like if you have a stable team captain you also have a stable team and that's what you need to get better and keep on improving um i think you can see it in most good teams that that is what makes yeah. a difference so, yeah, yeah. i got I, I got you now it's yeah. a nice explanation but yeah, <laughs> from 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 my side i can say again in mm -hmm. play in division for example we have six team yeah. one of them one of them impact okay delete the impact uh put the i don't know for example 
the the little bit more weak team maybe mm -hmm. you can decide it from the last season mm -hmm. and if you put there and uh, now white bloods or argonauts have more chance to be go first yeah, for totally. this division yeah totally they, true they, they lost their first <laughs> the mm -hmm. mood you know yeah. because of impact as as the impact need to fight against the kebab or against the uh, plebs maybe i don't mm -hmm. know yeah who knows yeah. yeah so something if you haven't noticed yet so uh, we can talk a little bit about next season because if we're halfway through the season it's a good time i guess to talk a little bit about next season as well um in the cb rifles rules on the discord you can actually see um how teams rank for next season uh, depending on where they end up okay um yeah. and my plan for next season is to create the like a league of two, 10 teams so each league now has eight teams and it will be 10 teams which means that we get to play nine rounds that's a lot that's a lot of rounds but it means that we get to play the whole season um like the the regular uh, like from start to finish for the regular conquest play season and we can start in the second week hopefully so we don't have like all the problems with the runes or new seasonal units stuff like this so this means that for next season the top uh the whole feudal division uh gets to play am i saying this correct no no so the top six from the uh, feudal division will stay in the highest division then the first and second place from the rustic division will go to the f f uh, highest division the first place from the play in division will go to the highest division so that might be impact yeah and then yeah. the third place from the rustic division will also go to the highest division that is right. the the ranking okay so if impact gets first place in the playing division they get a chance to go to the highest division yeah. and then for the feudal like the second division it will be the seventh place feudal eighth place feudal fourth fifth sixth uh, place rustic division seventh place rustic seventh place rustic eighth place rustic so all rustic will basically stay in the same league and then the second third and fourth place playing teams will also go to the second division and any team that is lower than fifth place from the playing division will stay in the third division together with all the new teams all right so for those of you who have tried to listen but couldn't follow it um it's it's all on the discord go to the discord to the cb rifles rules uh, there's a pretty clear like poster about where teams will end up um yeah so there's definitely a chance for impact to go to the, the highest division next season and it will be very exciting so we'll see what happens yeah. there <laughs> good, good yeah to hear. it is good <laughs> yeah yeah thank you for asking because this allowed me to explain it all right um we are over an hour right now so i would like to uh finish up this podcast if you're all right um Jackler, I'll start with you. Anything you would like to ask or say before we uh, end it? As I can say before, again, big thank you for you and for the who works for this tournament community organizations. Mm -hmm. Because so too much people, if you guys don't do this, I think drop the game. Because Conquest Blade are started boring, boring, mm -hmm. boring all season. And right now, I, I'm sure in West One houses and like maybe 10... 10 uh, 10 plus team in that tournament mm -hmm. that tournament keep a uh, game alive right now i'm sure for that uh, thanks guys and thanks for inviting me yeah. yeah thank you very much and i'm so happy you, you joined us for today and also for the tournament and yeah, yeah. best of luck for sure in this weekend at the very least yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh corto what about you anything else you'd like to add or ask or say no everything uh, i say and uh Thank you for uh, for coming uh, in an event like this to organize an event like this for CB and uh, for mm -hmm. players to come uh, play in the in the event and uh, have a, a good mentality. Mm -hmm. uh, we are all here for the game and uh, have a good moment. So thank you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, guys. Uh, let's continue with this uh, very healthy and good community. I love it. Uh, power of friendship, like Jackler said at the start. Um, yeah, let's just. Keep on doing this, um, get better, have more fun, keep playing games. Um, this game is amazing as long as we do it together because you need people to play this game. Um, all right, that's it from us, guys. Um, we hope to see you Sunday. Watch all the games or play in the games if you play, of course. Um, it proves to be very exciting. All the visions will go beyond the halfway point and then we will get to see even better what teams might end up in first place and be the victor of the CB Rifles Season 1. 
for us. We are back next week with another podcast and we might be inviting uh, one of the teams that will be potentially a season winner. Um, see you next week. Have fun and keep enjoying Conqueror's Blades. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye.